a death threat? I've been called an abomination in class before. These are uh, institutional issues and protocols. Mm -hmm. We just can't talk about them, but okay. I can say we follow through with them. On its website, Messiah College states it is an unapologetic Christian institution. We don't exclude homosexuals. Mm -hmm. We make a distinction between homosexual behavior and orientation. So we don't, we don't screen people when they come to the college and what their orientation is. We make it clear, though, what the lifestyle expectations are. The school also does have a community covenant that states in part, we are to avoid such sinful practices as drunkenness, stealing, dishonesty, profanity, occult practices, sexual intercourse outside of marriage, homosexual behavior, and sexually exploitive or abusive behaviors. I was completely blindsided. And the fact that it's, it's, um, it's backed up by, by biblical interpretation, I don't believe is right at all. Isaiah asked the provost, what is homosexual behavior? If the, the board, you know, of discipline find, deems it as homosexual behavior, that's what it is. So I said, it's by case by case basis then. You, that's not, how can that be a rule if it's by case by case? It doesn't make sense to me. Louis Marvin is a 2007 graduate of Messiah and now a local gay activist. Messiah tries to come off as a very open place to people who want for it to be very open, and I think it tries to come off as a very traditional place to people who want it to be very traditional. And unfortunately, in any sort of political conversation, LGBT students are the ones that are getting burnt. 